Position one is Luke. Up to position one, please, Luke. Position two is Tony. Position three is Cal. Position four, sorry, is it position three, Jim? Sorry, I apologize. That's what it says on the sheet. I'm going by the sheet, sorry. Cal in four, Earl in five, Trevor in position six, Robert in position seven, and Ian in position eight. You guys are happy with your grid? Can I get one more marshal in the center section here? Please. Thank you. Carrie's going to take care of it. All right. Marshall's eyes in your corner, please. Driver's lesson five. Oh, this will be off the track early. Looks like Cal. Or Cal. Looks like first cross line is going to be loose, followed by Tommy, then Jim. Earl, Trevor, Robert, Ian, and then Cal. Your order early here. Luke coming around for his third lap into the middle section. So the silver with the orange stripe on the side coming down the straightaway right now. That is your leader. Oh, he's got a deal with some traffic already. Looks like he's coming up on Cal already. Put him a lap down. Tommy's in two. He's 1.7 back. 2.3 back is Jim Chapman. So two and three battling. Going into the mid section. Oh, Tommy has some issues in the corner left. Jim, by the he drops four positions, it looks like. But meanwhile, Luke, your leader, out in the front, in the middle section, coming down the straightaway right now. He's got, already got 3.2 seconds gap on second place, Jim Chapman. You got Earl in three, Trevor in four, Tommy five. Cal's moving up into six, knocking Robert and Ian down to seven and eight. Oh, oh somebody's not. Tommy having some rolling issues now. Oh, yeah. Trying to find the leader, I believe that's cool. That time around, 3.6 now is the gap between second place Jim Chapman and the leader, Luke. Here's the leader going over to Luke. Jim, 4.4 now. So Luke's starting to open it up. Jim is still in two. Earl's in three. 1.1 second back. 1.8 is Trevor in four. And it goes all the way back to five. Tommy, who's 3.4 back. Cal's in six. And he's got five seconds to make up that position. And we're only two minutes in. Six to go. Luke keeping it clean. He's in the midsection. Jim Luke. Trying to get around some crowd. That is your leader, so when he comes up, you let him go. It's the white and orange side. Five point six seconds now that guy last time around. So he's really starting to open up that lead on Jim Chapman. A point seven back is only to Earl, so the battle is between two and three. Jim Chapman. 
but they're both going to be lapped by Luke. So he may lay back on these guys race because they're battling for position. It's not going to benefit Luke to do anything other than let these guys go. But 3.45 to go. Tommy Tam, he's in four. And those guys are starting to four and five and six are all spread out pretty good. Basically four to five seconds between three, four, and five. Or sorry, four, five, and six. Tommy's in four, Trevor's in five, Cal's in six. And then you got Robert E. Neal rounding up the order. Here's your second place, Jim Chapman, and right behind him. One second now, so Jim's trying to open, open up that gap a bit. He's starting to wind it up a bit. It's just one point, one, that time he's under a second. So the orange and white and blue are battling. With three minutes to go, there's still lots of time. And now there's a vehicle, but luckily that didn't hold up a roll at all, let him by. They want to see this battle happen for the final two, and four, two minutes and 45 seconds. Luke's still holding on that lead. He's just sitting back and watching these guys race. Jim Chapman gets by some lap traffic. So does Earl, so he'll get held up. With 2.25 to go. Earl's got his foot. Start thinking about how he's going to catch up, make up that distance. They got no traffic more around them right now, so they're going to maybe start pushing it a bit. These things are like on rails sometimes. Jim Chapman coming down straight away right now. Oh, that's enough. That's a bad corner for Earl. That'll open it up for Jim Chapman and give him a good size gap now. With just under two minutes to go. Earl's not giving up. He gets by that guy that just got in front of him when he hit the corner. He knows he's got some work, but he's going to put it in. Now, meanwhile, Luke is right behind Jim Chapman. He'll go by him. He's had enough time sitting back there. He's giving his go now. So Jim's got almost half a track between him and third, third place Earl with a minute 20 to go. Let's see what the gap is this time around. 3.8 last time around. Jim Chapman's going across. Let's see where Earl plays out here. 4.4 that time around, so the gap is a little bit bigger. But Earl's only got one car in front of him. Oh, but he loses it just before the straight. So with a minute left, that might be too much to overcome. Right now, one, two, three is Luke, Jim. Now Tommy, Tommy was that close. I didn't realize it was that close to Earl. He moved into three, but Earl down to four. So now it's Luke, Jim, Tommy, Earl, your top four. You've got Cal and five. Trevor, Robert, and Ian running up the order. Into the final 20 seconds, guys. Final 20. Tommy's your third place. Come down the straightaway right now. Girls in four, he's only 1.9 back, but that's race time. When you guys go by, you're done. Luke's going to take that one. Jim's going to take second place. Tommy in three, and then Earl four. Cal, Trevor, Robert, Ian, rounding up the order. This is 82 <laughs>